Let's try that again. What's up, wastelanders and vault dwellers? It's Upbeat Data. Coming at you with the most upbeat data that I have. And in addition to that, coming at you from the wasteland. That is my life. I'm just kidding. My life's pretty awesome. The wasteland is Texas. Let's get this game loaded up. Um, once again, I hope everyone can hear me. And uh, sorry for any technical issues. This is the first time streaming on the new PC. And uh, we're going to see how this goes. Loading, and then we will leave Dalton Farm because this house is officially cursed. Dwarf, thank you for letting me know the audio is fine. Um, yeah, I think you're right. So Dalton Farm, this farmhouse is absolutely cursed. So we are going to get the hell out of this farmhouse. Um, I would love to show you more, but I'm just not doing it. Um, I am on a wired connection, so I am wired into the internet, so there should not be any internet issues. Um, there shouldn't be any issues at all today, but that being said, knock on wood, what can you do? Um, so let me see what, there was a couple of questions that I asked to see what people wanted to see today. And let's see, let me go to that. Um, 11 votes, finish Nordhagen Beach is what is winning. So it looks like we will head over to Nordhagen. Um, thank you so much, Dorf. You're so incredibly kind. And thank you everyone who is returning after the uh, original, yeah, false start. False start. How's everyone's day? How's it going? What's up? Um, I just have to get used to being on a PC. I'm so used to being on my laptop. So we are going to head over to Nordhagen Beach. And if I remember where that is, Nordhagen. So today I might be looking at the chat just a little bit less, but I encourage everybody to please chat a lot in the chat. Um, the only reason why I might be looking a little less is because one thing that I find is that, like for example, when I'm working um, during the day and I'm trying to get my creativity out, I kind of get into like a zone. And so um, I was deciding what I wanted to do with this, um, with this house that I need to build here and I came up with a couple of ideas. So those of you that have not seen uh, Nordhagen Beach, here's what it looks like. So let's bring you to the quote unquote entrance. So once you're in, we're just gonna go to the center right here, um, which is the bar. And so once you're in Nordhagen Beach, it's just set up like, and so as you could see, I've got my armor shop. Got my general store. Got my clinic. Weapon store. Clothing store. I think the next one's a barber. So yeah, and then in between each of them, I put like where their sleeping quarters are. My day is nice and quiet. Had time to clear West Everett estates of muties while I was killing them, waiting for the stream to start. <laughs> nice. <laughs> killing time. So, um, yeah, right now I have uh, 20 people in this settlement and 15 beds. So that's one of the things that I need to work on is building them a place to live. So um, I'm just going to finish this little settlement tour real quick. So you go into each of these, and this is kind of where the settlers stay at. So you could see each one. So there's one right there, and then you come over here. This person lives in a boxcar, or whatever you want to call that. Yeah, it's, I guess it's a boxcar. And so that's where they live. Whoop. 
Whoops. <laughs> Locked myself in there. My bad. And then here's a shipping crate that somebody lives in. And I may or may not try to put a bed in here. I don't think a bed is going to fit in here, but I threw this guy over here. And then I can't get to this from back here, I don't think, but I can go around. And I can show you uh, this one. So we got two people living here. And last but not least, I found a use for the boat. Where did I put it? Um, well, I'll show this one real quick. Just another two better. And let me know if I'm moving too fast. I'm not used to the computer being able to move this fast. Um, but yeah, I put a boat here. Um, and I'm going to throw a bed in there. So let's do that real quick. So then I only need to put uh, four more beds. So I tell you, wearing headphones versus how I was doing this before is really weird because I feel like my voice is like underwater. <laughs> and so, yeah, it's just a weird sound. Audio is very weird for me right now. But so far, everything seems to be holding out, so I'm pretty excited about that. Um, yeah, like I said, on a new uh, system here. Um, I've asked this last time, but question. I put over here, right, we've got a clinic. Sorry, not trying to make people nauseous or anything. Um, we got a clinic right here, but there isn't really space inside to put this little cos, whatever, whatever you want to call it, cosmetic surgery chair. So what can I like do with this? Um, does anybody have any suggestions? There's a Walcott in G2M that should just fit in that other boat piece you were at before. Nice, I will look for the Walcott. <coughs> so if anybody gets any ideas for, I mean, what we can call this other than, cause like I said, there's really no room to put it in the clinic, but I wanted to have it somewhere. So yeah. If any ideas come to mind, just shoot them out. Um, but let's go look for that cot that you were saying is in G2M. Um, where was that other boat? <coughs> Pardon me. Okay, there is a, what is it, like a wall cot? A wall cot, very interesting. Go check out G2M. Construction, furniture, it would probably be under furniture, right? Simple nest, fishman cutting fish, simple toilet, military wall cot. Very nice. Very nice. Thank you, Dwarf. That's awesome. So this could be somebody's little uh, little area now. So we're at 17 beds. Let's give them some more little decorations. Uh, control, tilde, I'm also on a new keyboard. Everything's new, it's throwing me off. What's up, Easy Fallout, welcome. We are on the new PC and I have a headset on and it's so disorienting because I feel like I'm underwater. <laughs> So let me know if the mic's too loud, if I need to talk quieter, I can talk quieter. Um, <clears throat> so let's give this guy some decorations. Um, what else are we going to have in here with this cot? Um, or should I put the cot up again? No, I like the cot where it is. Uh, let's throw a tool chest in there. Let's go over to furniture. Thanks, hope you are well. Yes, I hope everyone is well on this. It's actually gorgeous here in Texas today. It is sunny and 72. It's beautiful. I like using these crates. I think um, I'll have to credit who uses these crates a lot, but there is a certain content creator that uses these a lot as side tables, and that's where I got the idea. 
<clears throat> so I will absolutely um, look it up and credit them in the description because I do that quite a bit. Um, maybe we'll put a little shelf. Um, do, do, do. Containers. Uh, let's do a do it your shelf shelf. New PC. Yes, it is so exciting. I can't tell you how um, awesome it is. Um, I've been playing on a laptop, which is like, you know, whatever, a 15 inch monitor, and now I'm on a 27 inch monitor. So there's quite a big difference in what I'm seeing versus what I used to be able to see. Uh, let's put this guy right here next to the door. Snap on, snap off. Um, what else could go right here? Um, duffel bag on the floor. Yep, under the bed. I think would be a good idea. Maybe even a suitcase under the bed too. Um, what could go in like this little section? This actually needs stairs, doesn't it? I'm like kind of hitting that. It's almost like it needs steps. You know what? I'm just going to give it some stairs. On, snap off. There we go. Because I was just getting like a little stuck. Um, while I think about what to put there, I will throw a duffel bag down. Um, let's go over to furniture. Can't hurt to put some small stairs for ease of access. I agree, Dwarf. Um, I almost want to put like a little desk there, but I don't know how he would fit like a chair to have a desk. But I want to put something there. Let's at least put a gun rack on the wall. That's the first thing coming to my mind. Oh, where did I download those? I got some gray ones. I didn't have those before. That must be some new mod that I downloaded on this computer without realizing. I wonder if I could fit two. So I hope everyone has had a wonderful day. My day has been fantastic. I can honestly say it's been a great day. Um, I have no complaints. Um, anybody building anything interesting? Anything cool going on out there in the world? Yeah, that almost works. I don't think I have any weapons in my inventory right now. We can go over to the weapon dealer. So who knows how I can make this YouTube chat bigger? Is there like a pop-out or something? Pop-out chat. Look at that. Hey, I did it. On the subject of stairs, G2M construction, scaffolding, there are some really short stairs that actually snap together so you can make them any length you like or need. G2M construction. I am currently building Mercer Safe House at Tappington Boathouse for the railroad. Is Mercer Safe House part of a quest? 
Um, just a chill day so far. What's up, weapon dude? Let me get some weapons. Okay, let me come around the other way and get some weapons. Two pistols and let's buy two for later. So don't don't forget, we're still thinking of ideas of what we can put in this plastic surgery center. <laughs> uh, let me go back around to this guy's little house here. Yeah, it's one of the quests that need to be done as part of the railroad storyline. I guess I didn't get that far. Um, did you join the railroad? Do you have to join the railroad to get that quest? Because I'm guessing maybe I didn't get far enough in the railroad quest. I wonder if I could fit a little shelf on that wall right there. It also gives me an excuse to use the bookshelf doors and do it. Oh, nice. Yes, I like that bookshelf door. That door is freaking awesome. Plastic junk donations box for the surgery center. <laughs> like just any random plastic they're going to put in people's bodies. <laughs> um, plastic junk, I guess. Yeah, you have to join the faction and do a series of quests for them. Gotcha. Yes, I have, like I said, did not join a faction. So I'm thinking about getting and streaming New Vegas sometime soon. So let me know what y'all think of that. If I were to stream New Vegas. And let me know if you think my voice sounds weird versus how it was with my airpods I want this shelf to go there yes rock on oh man I want it to be over just a little bit that's a little better in that case, you should call the surgery center Wasteland Plastic. <laughs> Wasteland Plastic. Uh, let's throw some booze down here. Let's put snapping back on. Um, eh, some beer. Crates of beer. I just, I'm not quite sure if I could get behind just dumping a bunch of plastic in the surgery center. <laughs> oh, that is funny, though. Um, I think maybe this guy's got a dumbbell hanging out right here next to his food. And then let's give him some uh, ammo, not ammo, some armor. There's some armor up on the shelf. And then let's give him a light. Dude probably wants to be able to see. Oh, you know what happens, though, when I have the chat up? So I can't see how many people are in the chat when I do that. When I do this pop-out chat. All right, whatever. Whatever. It's all good. I feel so fancy. New computer's fancy, pop out chat, got a headset on. Never did I think, let me tell y'all, <laughs> never did I think that I would be a gamer in my office with a headset. I don't know how this happened, but it's it's for the love of, first for the love of Skyrim, and then for the love of Fallout. Because um, I bought my laptop for Skyrim, and now I bought the PC for Fallout, so... All right, I think I'm digging where this guy's living. I think he needs like a cigarette and a um, a beer next to him and then I think we'll be good there. 
11 viewers. Oh, that's awesome. Well, hello to the 11 people. Thank you for stopping by. Probably feel like a disc jockey. I don't know what I feel like. I mostly feel like I'm underwater. That's mostly just because I like can't really hear myself well. All right, I'll take it off one ear maybe. And I can hear myself a little bit better. Oh, actually, that was a good idea. Um, where are the cigarettes? Uh, fastest way to get to cigarettes. Chems. Throw some buff out down. So the people watching, feel free to chime in. Um, let me know what you're building. I love checking out other people's channels. Um, so definitely let us know. And any ideas, shoot them out. So, and yeah, please hit the like button. That would be awesome. But as I say, and I'm sorry, I'm very sarcastic, but as I say, hit the like button if you like it. If you don't like it, you do not have to hit the like button. <laughs> please tell me. Just just shoot it out in the chat. Um, all right, so this is the part where, like I said, I might get a little quiet. Um, so I have this house that I built um, is straight up from Cordless 7 um, or Cordless VII, but I'm pretty sure that he's meaning to say Cordless 7. So this is his house build. This is not my house build at all. Um, I just recreated it. And then this is a house build that I did over here. But right in the middle, we're going to do something a little funky. And I don't really know what it is, but I know that I'm going to combine some different pieces um, I know that some of that is going to be shack pieces. <coughs> uh, first, let me put down the flooring. Uh, wood floors. Is that my dog snoring again? Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, Fauna, I love you, but you are too much sometimes. She's just straight up behind me on the floor snoring as loud as she can. I wish I could get rid of that mound. I wonder if I can. Let's see if I could disable it. You picked a non-ref AV object. No, I can't disable it. Chat is quiet. I have a channel of no mod Fallout builds. Awesome, easy Fallout. I will check those out. That's what I first started out watching. That's what I first started out doing first started out because it was so so long ago um like two months um so at the moment this is just a boring three by two square uh, what could I do to make this interesting So one thing I was thinking is doing like half shack, half greenhouse. So I'm going to go into Homemaker and I'm going to see how weird that'll look. Um, structures, brick, greenhouses. See, I like, kind of like the idea of this one with like the weird top. And then I wanted to see what a shack wall looked like next to it. You just picked up another sub, easy, awesome. So I like how the shack wall looks next to it, but it's not fitting. And I do want to give these people a porch. Do, do, do. I have no fun songs stuck in my head today, so I'm very sorry um, that there's no singing for y'all. 
Um, if anybody has a song they would like to get stuck in my head, I will gladly sing it for you. And so I'm just putting these here temporarily so that way stuff snaps where I want it to snap in case anybody's watching and is like, why is she doing that? It's just a temporary thing. Because I might even make it a little bit longer. I love how that guy's like, let me just get involved here. Placeholder foundations are a handy trick. I wholeheartedly agree. All right, so maybe since it wasn't fitting sideways, maybe it will fit this way. Because I'll tell you what I'm envisioning going on the end. Uh, let me go back to Homemaker. is like this piece being back here. And even with the placeholder, check, check out how it snaps. <laughs> um, I'm kind of seeing that being like the back porch. But I still want to make this greenhouse work. Uh, placeholder foundations floors I learned from fiddle flaps. Um, I learned it from Cordless 7. Um, yes. I don't know why I'm determined to have a weird looking roof, but I just am. Oopsie, wrong button. Nope, don't do that. Didn't I just turn snapping off? Oh, I'm hitting 1 and 2 instead of F1 and F2. <laughs> it's part of the fun of going from a laptop to a PC. Learned it from Nasty Bones. Smaller channel, but it's great. Nice, we'll have to check them out. I just think Pier Shack and Greenhouse might look interesting together. If it looks stupid, I'll get rid of it. No big deal. Learned a lot also watching Sardelli Extreme Fallout build another small channel. I'm going to have to come back and watch the. Um, yeah, maybe the pier shacks aren't going to work with the greenhouse. Um, what is another possibly interesting build? Could have somebody living in a diner? I mean, I'm not really feeling that for Nordhagen Beach. Not really feeling the diner. Warehouses, catwalks. You might need to place the greenhouse before the pier shack piece to get the greenhouse to snap. I love these doors. I want to use these doors for something. These big crazy doors. I wish I had a reason to use them here, but I don't. 
Oh, closet door. That's cute. Elevator door. Garage door. Oh, that gate's really pretty. I wish I had a reason to put that someplace, too. Hidden brick door. Dang, that's a lot of doors. All right. Um, Y'all, I'm drawing a blank on how I could make it interesting. Structures. Maybe a large fang and fish drying area along the water somewhere. Um, I could do that after, yeah. Right now I'm just trying to get a place to put these three more beds. So I'm kind of just trying to build a little house for them. Whoopsie, wrong button. Um, fishing typo. Fishing and fish drying area along the water. Yeah, that could definitely be built into this build. I don't think high tech would fit. I guess I could just do a boring old shack. If you're drawing a blank right now, move on to something else and come back to this structure. Yeah, the question is, where do I move on to? <laughs> um, let me see if there's any place else that I want to build. Um, uh, Taffington, but that's kind of boring. I just want to find a way to make a shack interesting is kind of what I want to do. Could do buses. The people could live in buses. Let me see if there's enough room. There's also this whole space over here where I could potentially build something like up against this rock. What do you want this structure to be? Um, I want it to be living quarters, um, so like a house of some sort. But I don't want it to be just like four walls, you know? I don't want it to be too boxy. Um, let me put a placeholder real quick. Buses can make really fun living quarters. They sure can, but would a bus look weird between, right? So we've got a house on one side and then a house on another. Would it look weird to put a bus in the middle? Because I think I'm out of room to put stuff around the actual market. You can always build a larger structure out of the bus door to give you more room. Yes, yes I can. Maybe use a mashup of boxcars. Not weird at all. Actually, let me leave that floor just in case. No, well.
three people who live in a trailer? I mean, we could easily fit three beds in here. Let's decorate a trailer. In a van down by the river, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Nice little ceiling fan in the trailer. Those are a fun challenge to build into. They are. Um, I really did like that cot on the wall. I guess I did more talking today than I realized. I feel like my voice is getting gravelly. Sorry if it is. Maybe just three beds in a straight line along the wall and then everything else on the other side. They can dry fish in it. It's gotta be bad hot AF in that trailer. <laughs> You're all about drying the fish. <laughs> uh, definitely want to put a table back there. Yeah, it is gonna be hot in this trailer. I always think that I pass the table that I want, but I guess maybe it's at the very end. Yeah, this is the one that I want. You can't really put chairs there, they're gonna fall off the side. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Um, kind of have an idea about putting a bench and then a table. I wonder if you can glitch a wall fan at the end. Um, what are wall fans under? I forget. If you remind me where to find one. I can't get to one quickly, I don't think. Oops. Sink small couches in on each side like a booth. I built a smokehouse for drying fish. I built a long time ago. Sink small couches on each side in like a booth. Back here, easy fallout. I just need some extra light back here. This might not stay here, but it's just going to go here for now just to add some light. Or not. <laughs> it's too far away from the conduits. Uh, I think that should be pretty easy to fix. At least for now. Nice, yeah. Mm, 
not a permanent fix, but at least it'll get that light on right now. No, it won't. This is a long ass trailer. <laughs> it's still not reaching back there to get that light on. That doesn't seem right. Really? This thing's actually turning into quite a pain to build with. Alright, y'all. What is the deal with this light? I just had to touch it to make it come on, that's why. Okay. Um, decorations for the side. I like the stuff that was in CVC yesterday. As in like food and drink decor. They had a lot of really cool stuff. Just some ideas. Not sure if this stuff's gonna stay, but just some ideas that I have. Dude, settlers for real. Alright y'all, I don't know if I'm feeling this trailer. <laughs> You know what, let me attempt to put a kitchen in the trailer. That'll be different. Um, let's pull out the shrinker. Or you know what, even if they just had a hot plate as a stove, disappeared into the ether. No. Quit snapping. Alright, I'm just going to leave you there like that. I really would prefer for it to be up a little bit higher. That works. Um, hey, what's a hot plate under? Um, the only place I can think of right now is static object decorator. In housewares. If you turn that do it counter around, the overling will fill the gap between the wall better and you get more storage at the front. I 
think one of these should be will be a hot plate if I'm remembering correctly. So they use their little hot plate to cook. I could put some pots and pans next to them. It's so hard to maneuver in here too. Oh no, and now I can't click on the hot plate. Damn it, the hot plate's stuck right where it is. You know, we're gonna disable it. Uh, if I turn that around. Yes, I thought about turning it around, but I figured since the thing right next to it has storage, I thought it would give it a different look. Alright, so I gotta be real picky about where I put this hot plate, because there'll be no moving it afterwards. That's good enough. Uh, do you think they have a sink in the trailer? Sorry for the slurping sound of my drink. <laughs> Fair call, I'm just throwing ideas out. Oh yeah, no, keep throwing them out. I love it. I wonder if there's a way I could actually make this back area a bathroom. You could put a sink next in line beside the counter. Right now, I'm trying to think of a way to cut this off in the back. I'm trying to think of a metal piece that may or may not work. Balmageddon. Like, I wish there was a way to section off the back and put, like, a toilet back there and stuff. But I can't think of a way to section it off. So I might just put a toilet back there. Because <laughs> I don't have a lot of toilets right now in Nordhagen Beach. Um, what can I do? Oh, a stall, maybe. Fit a floor over that hump in the floor in the back of the trailer and build your bathroom off that. It'll be a bit of a challenge, but the results will be good. It looks low-key cozy. Thank you, Andre Captino. Welcome. It, I'm trying to make it low-key um, have a bathroom, too. <laughs> do you have room dividers, like the folding screens? Oh, yeah, I do. Those are in um, Creative Clutter, right? Wall decorations, miscellaneous. At least I think that this is where they are. Perfect. Rock on. And you're saying put a floor down um, to cover that hump there? Mm, what would look decent? A warehouse floor maybe? Yeah, that's gonna look weird. Hey dwarf, um, what were you saying about what were you thinking that I would cover this with? Because I think this looks really weird coming up out of the floor. Hey Epi, the cat metal end on one side and curtain on the other. What's up, Swank Fiber? Welcome to the party. 
I'm getting used to my new headphones, so I apologize. I'm kind of quiet today. But it's still a party. It's always a party. You know what? I gotta shrink that divider. The divider's actually too big. I would just use a wood floor. Swank, how's your day? How's your building going? I would just use a wood floor. All right, just put down a wood floor. Just make it even. Oh, you know what might not look too weird is a steel uh, concrete floor. Because it almost looks like it belongs in there. There's a lot to get used to. It's like the new PC, the new headphones. I hate that this is cutting into the corner there. Come on. Okay. No, still can't get by it. Um, I'm just going to have to let it cut into the corner. It's not letting me through. Put the screen in last. I think the settlers are still going to need a way to get back and forth to it, you know? I'm going to kick my daughter off the computer so I can work on my build. I'm going to make a, a tour soon. Nice! I might just put the toilet up there, to be honest. Put it on, like, a little throne. Somehow they've gotten plumbing into this trailer. Somebody's a very good welder. Maybe you can upscale the whole trailer a little bit. Nice. Good thinking. I like it a lot. Oh, it won't let me walk back here at all onto that hump. Let me see. How do you like having a keypad keyboard? Um, so I haven't figured out what the buttons are yet on the keypad. So today is literally my first day being back on a keyboard versus my laptop. So um, yeah, I have not done those yet. Swank. But once I print out um, what the shortcuts are, that will make life a lot easier. Damn it, I still can't get by. All right, now I can. 
I wonder if the round metal wall and door can act as a divider. Uh, let's try it. Where's the walls that I'm looking for? Walls? Outer? Nope. Corner caps? Nope. Outer caps? Yes. You know? It doesn't look that weird. That definitely works, easy fallout. It looks like they just brought it in. Nice, they have an actual bathroom now. I think I'm just gonna leave the toilet where it is. That's pretty cool. It's, all, it's too bad that the trailer is actually not a little bit bigger and you couldn't make like sections for each person. Um, that would be cute. Oh, where do I want to go back to? Decoration miscellaneous. That's an awesome idea to use that round wall. I'm going to have to use that somewhere. I wholeheartedly agree. But can you walk in? Oh, damn it. That's a good question. Yes, you can. You can walk in and back out. Oh, whatever, this thing's just going to be high up. I don't feel like fighting with stuff too much today. They're going to have to reach for their toilet paper. <laughs> reach. Reach. It's kind of floating in the middle of space, but um, I will get the... Oh, you know what happens, Swank? So when you upscale something, you still keep the old walls. So it looks bigger, but you still have the old walls, I think. Because it's not letting me move this up against it. It's stopping me there. But it's letting me move the toilet. That's really weird. I mean, that's definitely not on the wall. That's okay. They have a bathroom. We're going to put a door on it and keep decorating. I'll worry about how it looks later. I was saying try the half metal circle and cat piece, but that looks nice. The problem with the toilet roll holder is actually collision box issues. Oh, okay. Mer. Maybe put the roll on the side of the toilet or another piece of furniture. Oops. Pretty sure I still had collision off. Nope, didn't. Turned it back on.
You know what? I really don't like these beds. If I'm going to build something, I'm going to be satisfied with it. Nope, don't do that. Shoot, it's not letting me just click on these. Got to disable again. With the number pad, you'll be able to adjust sizing very minutely. You might be able to slip half a ball between the toilet and the toilet roll holder on. Good thinking. You might be able to slip a half wood wall in beside the toilet. Put a shower and make it a complete RV home. I will absolutely put a shower back there. Um, right now I'm going to do something about this wire. <laughs> this wire to nowhere. Which is going to be disabling it. Hey y'all, the light on my keyboard turned off. Why did it turn off? Does anybody know how to turn that back on? Oh, I'm just disabling random stuff. That's not a good idea. <laughs> turn off snapping to move the toilet paper. I did, I did have snapping off. I just want to know why the light on my keyboard went off. Man, it will not disable this. There we go. You can also put a basket of toilet paper rolls on the floor. Yes, I could. Very good idea. I will do that. Um, what beds do I like? You know what I actually like the idea of is I like the idea of those, um, if you grab the wire and then let it go, it should disappear. I did grab it. Um, you know what happened to me? Easy fallout. Um, I grabbed the wire and I ended up with a floating spark that stayed there and I actually had to download a mod to get rid of it. <laughs> Creative has a shopping basket of toilet rolls. Yes, it does. Um, right now I am on beds. I am going back to where you told me that cot was, which I'm pretty sure was CVC. Oh no, my menu's frozen. I thought you said CVC, but maybe you didn't. Thank you for posting a building to the player home. I'll watch it later. Oh, no problem, Eric Fallout Guy. Welcome. Oh, it was in G2M. That's where it was. Uh, construction, furniture. You can use the metal cafeteria counter in the sink to make it look like a cabinet. Put the mirror over, and the toilet paper roll can go on the side of the cabinet. Yes, I like these for in here. I feel like these make a lot of sense in a trailer. Go into console, type mode AV 349, 
and then separate the mode 34B to give yourself 3.5 mil memory space to use. I, I think I have enough space. But I appreciate it um, daily. I, I already did that with Nordhagen. The console commands. But welcome, welcome to the chat. Nice to have you. I'm going to fight with some beds real quick. Because they're not going up against the wall. Also, if you kill something, you can delete the body in workshop mode. Okay, so disable. The G2M mod has a great function to radically increase build limits. No worries, console makes it so much easier to have a million props. Yeah, these are not clicking to the wall, so I don't like these either. <laughs> I guess I'm going back to the other ones that I didn't like, but it still leaves me not liking them. I don't use mods, I'm a vanilla guy. <laughs> I mentioned the mod because FBT's using it. Vanilla DLC here. So Daily Corvid, have you been building anything lately? I guess these people need a place to put their clothes and stuff. Didn't I disable that? And that? I could have sworn I already disabled both those and now they're back. <laughs> they're back. I suppose I'm going to have to disable them again. Sorry, guys. I don't know how they came back. <laughs> All right. Um, I think a dresser for them. Excuse me. I actually have a mute button now. I could use my mute button. The disabling use workshop rotation to move the trailer over so you can delete the conduits and use workshop to put it back where it is. Easy, same here. Mods tend to make me crashy settlements. All right, I'm going to try my mute button so I can cough. Okay, let me know. Did that mute my cough? <laughs> did the mute button work? <laughs> or did I just cough in everybody's ears? <laughs> Please, these are the things I need to know. Um, Alright, what else is going to go in the trailer? Hoping the update fixes some of that though. Mod props look way nicer. Uppy Data has some way prettier houses. Thank you so much! I try to build some pretty stuff. I try my best. Oh no, Dwarf, did the did the mute button really not work? Did I cough in everybody's ear? Don't tell me that I coughed in everybody's ear. Well, I tried not to. That's the bet I was saying to use in the police station, but we couldn't find them. Oh, don't worry about coughing. We all make sounds. It's okay. Um, yes, but I think coughing in people's faces, like on a stream, is super rude. So I try not to do that. <laughs> um, 
COVID, yeah, my PS4 version. No, I'm saying that we couldn't hear you coughing. Okay, sweet. Awesome. Spank fiber, that's the bed. Oh, yeah, in the police station. I can go back and put this bed in the police station. A lot of people like that police station, so thank you so much for everybody's input. Um, really, really helpful. I'm getting a lot of compliments on it, so that was all you guys, because... I just had a few ideas, but you guys had mostly ideas. Oh, you know what? We need a refrigerator in here. I didn't hear it, but honestly, it doesn't bother most people. I hate eating sounds, and the odd quiet cough doesn't upset my ears so much as chomping crisps. I would never eat on stream. No, that would never happen. Never, never, never. Um, creative clutter is where I was going. Uh, do, 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 rooms, kitchen. Oh, that's like the perfect look. You might want to put a sink in your kitchen area. I build a trap for invaders that sinks with a cage into my death claw. <laughs> nice. I love my pet death claw. He's very cute. Um, let's put the sink right here on the outside. Um, where is my favorite sink? I think it's in bathrooms. sink and fill up the space between the trailer door and the first counter. Yes! Hi, Fauna. I don't like risking the dog since the death claw. I gotta show the dogs a little love. Fauna, Fauna, you're making a lot of noise, baby girl. Come here. Come here. <laughs> she was wagging her tail up against the desk, the, the um, legs of the desk, and she's such a waggy tail doggy. Oh my god, she was making so much noise. <laughs> She's such a cutie. If y'all could meet Fauna, she's just the best. Gorillas are fun to use. <laughs> yes, Fifi, I see you there, baby girl. What are you doing? I know you hear me talking and it's probably weird to you. Um... Generic clothes could go up there. How do I get myself a synth gorilla? That's a cool mod. I need to get working on the update. <laughs> pupper is such a cutie. Um, Dwarf, that is the um, the other pupper. That is the um, five-month-old. The one that I'm talking about right now is my 10-year-old. But thank you. They're, they're both super cute, in my opinion. They're both super cute. They're cute little puppers. Oh, let's see. Um, I'm going to go to furniture and do some more do-it-yourself. Shout out to all the house dogs in their er house. <laughs> yep. Fifi and Wyatt, Fauna and Wyatt are hanging out. They are chilling, being spoiled as ever. That's going to be too tall. It's not easy to move in this trailer space. I don't know why I agreed to this. <laughs> How about we pick like the hardest space to move in and decorate and let's decorate it. All right, so we'll have some food up there. Um, what else? Okay, didn't realize there are two of them. Only way for me to get them is to issue the evacuation order before blowing up the institute. They need a radio. They do need a radio. I need a radio right now. Once again, I wish I had metal music playing. You know what? I could actually make that happen on my phone. Um, 
yeah i'm gonna do that real quick sorry guys i'm gonna play some music There we go. That's better. There's a comedy creator called Best Guest who does some awesome trap settlements where he torments Mama Murphy <laughs> for huffing too much of his jet. <laughs> Why does everybody torment Mama Murphy? Just leave her alone. Oh, my favorite one is the one with the guns. Let's put snapping back on. Poor Mama Murphy. Everybody's always hating on her. Yeah, I hate people who eat on stream. <laughs> uh... Oh my god, that's amazing. I'll have to try a new game to get some gorillas. Uh, nothing else too interesting here to put on that shelf. Uh, maybe some more food. Maybe some veggies that they could cook over their hot pot. Or hot plate. Oh, they have two hot plates. Uh, let's give him some more clothes. Cover there, totally OP, and also add to settlement happiness. <laughs> Gorillas add settlement happiness? I'm gonna have to get me some. Sure, some power armor helmets down at the bottom. Why not? Alright, they got their beds. Um, what do we think we need in this section right here? You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to put two of these. Nope, wrong button. That would be the street that I live next to. I hope y'all didn't hear that on stream. Well done on the new computer, by the way. That's like a perk point frame rate. Gorillas have a fairly accurate animations for walking. I love those. I bet they only attack the Institute guys for cruelty. Uh, do, 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 lights. bright and sunny. I tell you, when it starts getting dark in the game, it starts making me tired. <laughs> Free the G's. Um, Alright, we've got a bathroom. We've got three beds. We've got a sink. Oh my god, they are back! They keep coming back. That is so funny. <laughs> I will work on that tomorrow. I'm not going to mess with those anymore on stream. Um... I tell you, I start to feel a little claustrophobic in here. Also, the mutant hounds by far are a pretty tank. They play nice with your dogs at home, too. <laughs> Alright, 
right, so I just need something to go in this corner here. Maybe a pl couple plants. Small dining table, make a small eating area like an RV. Um. Let me see how I can do that. The hounds buy from Ericsson are awesome and the stock respawns over time. What do you think? How's that look? I think they could play Fallout. I'm a generator at least one console. I had a whole pack of mutant hounds at Sanctuary in one playthrough. Just gotta remember to be careful with your target if you need to attack the settlement. All my bedroom at least one console in a hollow tape game, knocking around a table. Mine are practically based. Need to pretty them up. <laughs> um, speaking of prettying it up, I think I'm gonna put some going to put a happy little half table with a happy little plant over here. So it needs some happy little color. Jeez, is it hard to maneuver in this? Happy little color. Me to understand why humans help strong. <laughs> or just regular miscellaneous. Let's go with regular miscellaneous. Decorations. Oh, y'all, the yawning is starting early today. I might have to finish this up, and that might be it for today. So I'm thinking about doing my streaming um, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So just an FYI, I think that's going to be my new schedule. Um, cause my, I do not have the stamina for everyday streaming after a long day of work, I've decided. So I think I'm going to do Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Abernathy Farm is my favorite spot. Would like to see your Abernathy Miss Upbeat data. I have not worked on Abernathy Farm yet. Um, I actually like it the way it is. It would be an upbeat stream if Bob Ross didn't make at least one appearance. <laughs> oh, because <laughs> I'm putting a happy little plant? We're putting a happy little plant. And I think that happy little plant just lives right over here. Okay, uh, let me go into Creative Clutter and get those, those set of those three little ones. 
Uh, resources, cups, pots. I think it's under pots. Nope. Decorative plants. Oh, that's a cute little guy to go on this table. <laughs> Which is because he's nowhere near the table. Oh, don't even tell me. I'm going to have to disable you too. Okay, no, I don't. Uh, my Abernathy is a concrete wall around it. it. has a little town, has eight buildings, and a really nice farm with lit roads and gardens to run around. It's a nice flat settlement. Nice. Well, are we cooking with hot water? Reese and DOG, the only thing I need to be cooking with hot water is like some coffee or something. I am tired AF. Um, but yeah, we're, we're decorating a trailer because it's like the most, um, most enclosed space to make me claustrophobic <laughs> and least, least easy to decorate. But you're probably used to decorating trailers. Uh, let's give him a garbage pail in there too. If you've been working on the stacks. Uh, not furniture decorations. We can fit a happy little trash can right here. evil. It's stuck to the whole thing. Alright, trash can's gonna have to get disabled and fixed later. We are on the PC at recent DOG Gaming. Yes, we are on the PC! Um, and it's taking a lot of brain power to get used to it. <laughs> I have a mouse. I'm not used to having a mouse. Hey, how do you guys think, um, you know, like in uh, RGB or whatever it's called, keyboard? For some reason, my light's turned off. Why do you think the light's turned off on my keyboard, and how do I turn them back on? Random question for any uh, computer people. My keyboard lights are just randomly off. They used to be turning different colors, and now it's just dark. Family size espresso machine. Yes, I can use that right now. But then again, I'll be going to sleep in like a half hour. So, <laughs> hey Swank, that was a really good idea, by the way, for this table in the back. I absolutely love it. I couldn't get very much done with them. Some are decorated. I got to a point I had to stop. It was too much for my GPU. <laughs> Um, function ISN. I hit function something. I found it! Thank you so much, Daily Corvid. There's a function button and then a little light next to it. I turned the lights back on my keyboard. Rock on. Awesome. Thank you. I can see what I'm typing. <laughs> It was, like, seriously dark. Google is your friend. Yes, I can't Google while I'm streaming a video game. So that's why I ask people uh, in the chat. <laughs> uh, no worries, I had the same thing when I first got mine. All right, so we've got a sink, we've got food, we got a hot plate, a fridge, we got a place for all their food and stuff, we got a place for their clothes. Um, I suppose I can finish the bathroom. Yep, 
You know, the bathroom might get finished tomorrow, to be honest. This might be like a super short stream. Oh, that doesn't look good, does it? That door's gonna have to open the other way. There we go, perfect. Yeah, this bathroom's just gonna be good enough for now. So they have a home officially, 20 beds for 20 people. Their happiness is 83. Always had the toilets behind half walls so people using them won't get sight startled them. Your super short stream has been going for an hour and a half so far. Oh, has it, Dwarf? <laughs> well, in that case, um, yes, I think that I will be very close to wrapping up because I am actually quite tired today. Um, it was a very long day at work. Um, Nordhagen Beach is pretty much done. So this is what it looks like. Um, Nordhagen Beach has everything it needs. It's got a bar. It's got settlers working all its settlements. And now it's got beds for everybody. Could a few of you please show up, eat some love, and hit the like button? Thank you. Yes, please. That would be super sweet. So yeah, that's going to be Nordhagen Beach for now. I will I will figure something out to do. You know what? I'm just going to take this out of here, I guess, and put it in the clinic. And so I guess I just need something to make this shop. So there's just an extra shop there now. I did before I had watched one of those liked videos before playing type people. I was like three. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right. One last thing to decorate. So that will get decorated um, tomorrow. So yeah, that is going to wrap it up for tonight. Um, but thank you for hanging out while I decorated a trailer and while we finished up Nordhagen Beach. And um, I will post the final thing of Nordhagen Beach. I'll probably do a video of it. And then I'll do a video of the cursed house at Dalton Farm. And I will do a video of um, Hangman's Alley and post all three of those. Um, hey, Richard, you are just in time for me to be signing off. Um, are the best plots in my opinion for later. Thanks for the stream. See ya. Thank you, Daily Corvid. Um, I did Starlight Drive-In. Definitely check out my um, video on Starlight. Um, do, do, do. Nice work with this place. Thank you, Easy Fallout. Um, I appreciate it. So yeah, my super short hour and a half stream is going to be ending. Um, so thank you so much for tuning in and watching, and I hope you enjoyed. Um, and no, Reese DOG, whenever anybody makes it, you are more than welcome. If you, yeah, I don't expect anybody to be able to make it um, every day. So I'll probably be going to, like I said, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, no, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. <laughs> So being that, I think tomorrow's Wednesday. Um, and uh, have a Discord link. Yes, there is one Fallout Discord that I'm in, and I will post it. Um, but I don't have my own Discord for Fallout, but I could potentially make one, so I might do that. Um, but yeah, so that's going to be the stream for today. And I appreciate everybody stopping by and watching and being patient with me while I get used to my voice on this thing and... <laughs> being on the PC and all that good stuff. Um, so yes, I will post the link to that Discord in the description, and that will be it for this evening. Thank you so, 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 so much.